All right, guys, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a multicolor sign like this. So this video was inspired by Arizona Ice Tea and the Creator Now program. So as part of the Creator Now program, I was sent some gift cards to purchase some things on their website. And then I just had to show a video of me doing something related to that brand. So this is what I got. So I got this t-shirt, this hat, this t-shirt, this t-shirt, and this small bag of coffee. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how you can make a three color sign. All right, so before we start the tutorial, you're first gonna need to gather your materials. So you're gonna need an aura mask, you're gonna need a piece of wood to carve into, you're gonna need at least two colors of spray paint, and you're gonna need your CNC and your carving software. So go gather all your materials and come back. All right, so now you've gathered all your materials. You got your spray paint, you got your aura mask, and you got the piece of wood you wanna carve into. So the first thing you need to do is you need to figure out what you actually want to carve and how many colors you'll need. All right, so if you want to sign where the background is one color and the carving is another color, you're going to want to go ahead and go paint your background right now. So go paint your solid piece of wood. If you want the carving to be multiple colors like I will be doing, we're going to want to put on our first layer of ore mask. So let's go put on the ore mask right now. All right, so after putting on your first layer of Aura Mask, you're gonna to wanna to go over to the computer and start programming up your cut file. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. All right, so now you have your computer, you have your design loaded up, and you have your bitmap traced, and now you're left with vectors. So what we wanna do is, we first wanna select the color we wanna spray paint first. It doesn't really matter the order, but you wanna select it all. So I'm gonna do Arizona and these little triangles. So everything in this turquoise color. So what I've done is I've selected all of those vectors within CarveCo, and now I'm going to create a toolpath for those. So now after calculating those toolpaths, we can run the simulation. This is what the sign will look like after it's done carving. So now we can go run this on the CNC and then spray paint that blue. Alrighty, so now I got the file loaded up. I've got all the axes is zeroed, so now I'm gonna run that first file. <laughs> So that first part just finished carving. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hit that first part with your first color. All right, so I got the first color on there. And now what we're going to do is we're going to leave this aura mask on and we're going to put another layer on top. Right, so after getting your second layer of aura mask on, you're going to want to go back to the computer and program it the second part you want cut out for your next color. Alrighty, so for the part around the sun, this middle part, I did a V carve, so I'll show you what that looks like. So then we'll go run this toolpath now. All right, so now I got the second part loaded up and zeroed, so I'm gonna run that and then I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. All right, so that second part carved up, so now we're gonna spray paint that red. All right, so while the red spray paint is drying, I'm going to load up the toolpaths for the last part, which is the sun. So we're just going to do another V-bit carving for that one. All right, so this is what that last part will look like after it's done carving. All right, so now i got to put the ore mask over the red, and then I'm going to carve in the sun, spray paint that part, and then it's done. So that part just finished carving, so now I'm going to hit it with the orange spray paint, and then I'm going to pull the aura mask off. Alright, so after spraying the sign with all the colors, you can peel off the aura mask. Alright, I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch the video on how I made this three color sign. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. Thank you all once again, and have a great day.